Hi there, this is Lonnie with Mean PC, and in this video we're going to be learning how to easily and quickly whiten eyes in a photograph. And this is a photograph of a, uh, of a girl in a spa or hot tub, and it's a public domain image. I do not know this person. Uh, well, let's go ahead and quickly learn how to whiten these eyes and the first thing we want to do always is just make a uh, make a duplicate of the background okay and we're just gonna leave that alone uh, that way our original image is always protected right here it has the lock on it you can see now first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a smart brush I'm sorry the uh, quick selection tool to select the area of the eyes that I want to lighten whiten I should say and you can use your bracket keys to make your cursor smaller and bigger here and uh, let's see sample all layers auto enhance I'll do auto enhance okay make it kinda small and drag it I think I might want to zoom in a little more. Go. Looks like that auto enhance is dragging the processor down a tad with no without much benefit, so I'll knock it down a little bit. pretty much auto enhances itself anyway okay and if you get a uh, if you get a part of, of a selection you don't want all you have to do is hold down alt and you'll see this plus goes to a minus when this plus is adding to the selection when this minus is subtracting from the selection so you can just hold down your alt key and just kinda dab over the parts you don't want to uh, whiten and when you let up it'll kinda clean the edges up a tad okay so I think that eye is about good and we just go over to the other eye and add it to the selection too and Photoshop is pretty smart about helping you uh, helping your selection and you see in this part right here that's pretty light but it's not part of the eye white so I'm going to take it out and let's see and I'm taking a few minutes on this but it's really not that super critical so now let's uh, zoom out and take a look at our selection and zoom works the same way if you if it's set to zoom in you just hold down alt and it'll zoom out instead most of the tools are like that okay now you see we have our eye white selected let's make a new layer by just going to layer new layer via copy okay and now if you see we'll s make sure the layer one which we'll go ahead and call eye whites Okay, make sure that's selected. Now, uh, if you're new to Photoshop, you'll see they have the eyeballs. Those are all the layers that we can currently see. Uh, the blue selected layer, that's the layer that you're actually going to be working on if you're painting or anything like that. Uh, you won't be working on the layers, uh, any other layers except the blue ones. Now, uh, Photoshop layers work like this. When I'm looking at the image, uh, it, you, you look at this layer first which is put on top of this layer which is put on top of this layer so if I put if I altered the eye whites layer but then it was under I can't move it down let's see how do I move it down yeah okay you see I moved the eye whites layer under the background copy now you won't even be able to see the 
edits we do to the eye whites because the background copy is going to cover it up. So that's why we're going to put the eye whites layer up top. Try to anyway. There we go. Okay, now one other adjustment we didn't make. If we look at just the eye whites layer, you see it's kind of creepy, but there, there are the eye whites. And what we want to do on this layer is lock transparent pixels. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep us from painting on any of these blank pixels here. We'll only be painting on the eye whites themselves, which is exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show this back up again. And I'm going to select this, and for this quick eye whitening, we're just going to uh, use white. Okay, all the way in the upper left, hit OK for the foreground color selection. And then we're going to do the brush tool. And uh, let's see, flow. I, I like the airbrush just to kind of keep, makes it easy to keep it even. So make sure you select it enable airbrush mode okay opacity at hundred percent is fine for now and you want to get a nice big brush so you use your bracket keys again and make your brush big and just do a paint right across the eyes okay and obviously that doesn't look very good does it so what we need to do now is we're just going to change the opacity of that layer. And as we dial the opacity back, it's going to let some of the background layer show through, but our th our little white layer is going to be on top. So you're actually getting parts of both images and I think it makes it helps it have like a really natural look. So let's take a look. Now that doesn't look ridiculous now we're at uh, 23 percent but you can't really tell anything's been done to the picture until you don't see it anymore and now you can see that's a nice little bump on our eye whites and I, I think that's pretty good and usually my rule of thumb is uh, I dial the opacity back to where I think it looks good and then I dial it back sometimes a little more just because I notice whenever I'm working in Photoshop that uh, I tend to overdo it sometimes. I mean, if you look at the original and then you look at the new one, that's a lot wider. And um, I think that's just enough. I mean, it, it really brightens our eyes a lot. So uh, that's our first episode. Uh, be sure and catch the next episode where we'll be working on the teeth. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.